Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. The Belmont High School varsity boys and girls basketball and hockey teams continue their seasons. The Belmont Journal's Chet Messer brings us up to date with scores and highlights. This is Chet Messer hosting the Belmont Marauder Sports Report. The Boston Globe has made its all-scholastic and all-league selections for the 2020 fall sports teams. For the all-Middlesex League boys golf team, Dave D'Agostino, Patrick Kilcoyne, and Spencer Scully were selected. From Belmont, Isabel Berger and Matilda Hammer were selected to the All-Middlesex League girls cross-country team. Jackson Coelho and Trevor Smith were selected from Belmont as All-Middlesex League cross-country runners. Belmont's Ashley Green, Grace Kane, and Allie Landry, girls soccer players, represent Belmont on the All-Middlesex League team. Alex Athanasio, Berle Gustav, and Will Cavatitu were named to the All-Middlesex League boys soccer team. For the girls All-Middlesex field hockey team, Emma O'Donovan and Olympia Cavalatis were the Belmont athletes selected by the Boston Globe High School sports writers. This past Wednesday night, the Belmont Marauder boys hockey team handed Woburn its first defeat of the season, winning the game 3-1 over the Tanners. Woburn scored first in the game, played at Vigarola Arena in Belmont. Woburn's Derek Bakari scored at 5.07 of the first period. Ben Fiji tied the game with a goal in less than two minutes later. Before the end of the first period came to an end, Declan Harrington scored Belmont's second goal for the 2-1 lead. Sophomore Shea Donahue's first varsity goal in the second period helped to preserve the Belmont win. Belmont's goalie, junior Ryan Griffin, was strong in the nets after a bitter 3-zip loss to Woburn a few days earlier. With this win, Belmont has five wins, one loss, and two ties, and sits atop of the Middlesex Liberty Division, with a shot at the title. Wednesday night's game between the girls hockey team and Woburn Tanners was not so kind to Belmont. Woburn ended up winning 5-1. to one. Belmont's record is now three wins, three losses, and three ties. The last game played by the Belmont boys basketball team was on Saturday, February 6th. They lost to the Woburn Tanners at Woburn, 64-47. They were to play Woburn again on Tuesday, February 10, but that game was postponed due to a snowstorm. Before they could reschedule the game, however, the Belmont coaches and players were informed that they must observe a 14-day quarantine due to the potential exposure to COVID-19. This effectively ends their season since the remaining games fall within the 14-day quarantine period. The Marauder girls basketball team took a step closer towards their goal of a league championship by beating Woburn at Belmont last Saturday. With about two minutes to go, Abby Morin on a step-back three-pointer put Belmont ahead 39-37. The game was then tied by a Woburn player completing two free throws after a foul by a Belmont player. In the next offensive sequence by Belmont, Nina Minicosi hit a three-pointer from the corner. After two successful free throws by a Woburn player, Shapesians turned to hit another three-pointer. By four points, the Woburn team fouled Nina Minicosi, who went to the line and deposited her first three-throw. Although she missed her second shot, all scoring after this turned out to be inconsequential as Belmont walked away with a 48-43 win. In this strangest of seasons, 
On January 23, Belmont was scheduled to play Reading at Reading. Reading was under a COVID restriction, and so Belmont was reassigned to play Woburn at Woburn. Belmont lost. On February 6, Belmont played Woburn at Belmont and beat Woburn. And Belmont played Woburn for a third time on February 11 in Woburn. With the score tied at 39 with a few minutes to go, Woburn scored first and went up 41 to 39. After a hustle rebound, Woburn ended up getting a three-pointer from atop the circle and now led 44 to 39. This was followed shortly thereafter by a three-pointer by Nina Menacosi, which brought Belmont within two points at 44-42. Two successive fouls by Belmont ended up with three points made from the foul line by the Woburn Tanners. This was followed by a foul shot miss by Woburn and rebounded by Nina Minakosi, who rushed up the floor and deposited a three-point shot. Another foul shot miss with only a few seconds left was rebound again by Manicosi, who rushed up the court one more time, and her final shot was blocked partially by Woburn, who walked away with a win. Belmont now has two games left and a record of 6-3. and three. Both of these games are against Darlington, who is the first-place team at six wins and one loss. Belmont must win both games to win the Middlesex Liberty Division title.